That's weird. Was, um, right up the road there's a greenhouse and they actually would sell fruits and vegetables and big breads and things like that so it was kind of a family company um, and what ended up happening they ended up having to sell the farms because the kids weren't going to be taking over after the dad was ready to retire um, so and these houses were back here part of that in fact um, I believe maybe one of his stepdaughters or daughters had lived here before she ended up moving. Um, but these have been, oh, I think these, this one house that we're in right now was built in 1913, I believe. Um, so, you know, that if you're looking at that, it's about a hundred years before somebody was no longer here. Um, that's that's pretty crazy to think that you know that amount of time and now it's just been left to um, to rot basically because now the rain's coming through the the peel and the peeling of the paint things like that um, and I know that uh, it, it I don't think they're going to be doing anything with these they've got uh, red X's on the outside of them, so probably sometime soon they'll be demolished. All right, thanks, Mike. Yeah. All right, well, let's check out this uh, farmhouse. Heavy hits. Uh, here we have a little bit of James Brown, Jim Stover, um, Disco Fire, uh, the Beatles. Footloose, the original. Everybody get loose. Oh, here we have Tootsie. Oh, got some nice uh, records here. I'm gonna put these back here in a second. Uh, let me finish exploring this house. I'll put them back uh, the way they were. All right, here we have uh, the bed. And we have like some jackets still hanging up. A uh, little fan and speakers, a uh, space heater. Um, there's a lamp over there in the corner. And here we have like some work clothes. You can see they're like dirty. And it looks like they drank a lot of vodka. So that's the Colonial Club.
seen a couple bottles of Colonial Club here. All right, this is the uh, room adjacent to the uh, the little living quarters over there. Um, here we have. I'm going to assume this this is the uh, the little kids' room. Little kids' room. Here's um, Winnie the Pooh like a jigsaw puzzle picture. They put it in a picture frame. So this is Winnie the Pooh. This is Tigger right here. And um, looks like someone was using this room to potty in. So I'm gonna limit myself um, in this room. So uh, there's nothing really left to see. Probably a bed, book, mattress or something. But, uh, Let's see what else we can get into, guys. Uh, here we have the cleaning supplies. This is, this is where the family would keep their, store their cleaning supplies. Detergent and all that goodness. And this is where their washing machine and dryer would be. You see the hookup right here. And there's... Still a few items hung up. Man, look at the decay. I found a bunch of these skis left. There's a few more outside, but let me see the name of them. There's another name over here. Uh, dynamic. I'm not sure, but I don't know if this is marking their height on here. I'm not sure with the date. I'm like sh stretched around because I can't obviously get in the kitchen with the trash all over the floor, but you get the idea, guys. But I do want you guys to see like some of the you know, the appliances and stuff like that though. So here's the, the toaster oven right there. And the blender. And the oven. Whoa. Oh, the upstairs seems a little bit unsafe, guys. Oh, it's not too bad. But here we have this is the first bedroom. Oh, wow. Opened up kind of nicely here. We step back. Little princess 
trash can. But yeah, this um, yeah, this bedroom kind of opened up a little. Wasn't kind of, I wasn't expecting that. Here we have a, we have a bed here and a stuffed animal. Man, being silly, hey Mike. What? Look at this, man. This is weird. It's weird, bro. Was somebody cutting hair in the? Oh, yeah. That's the... crazy. What? Why would they not have cleaned it up? In the toilet or in a, in a bathtub? It looks like somebody sat I'm pulling this back. It looks like someone sat a uh. Somebody with a lot of hair, that's... Was that a kid's chair? Got drunk and just cut the hair. <laughs> uh, that's crazy. What's, what's, what is this? This is strange. I mean, should I pick this up? No, no, I wouldn't. Don't pick it up? No, no. Don't pick it up? <laughs> no. Not unless uh, you want to have some bloodborne pathogen or something like that. I don't know. I mean, maybe they were cleaning, uh, cleaning their arm before they shoot up or something. You don't want to Guys, this is that. weird. Is oh, get out! And you know what? I was just in this room, and I, you know, I normally don't touch stuff, but this was draped back, and wow, this is strange. Very strange. So I was just in here being weird. I probably wasn't going to even upload this part uh, for you guys. But man, that's weird. I don't know what what is that knob. I don't want to touch anything. What is this? Alright guys, due to the uh, water damage, I might have to skip the uh, attic. It looks really soggy up there and unsafe, so um, probably going to pass on this one. No better than that, this is UD. I'm up in the attic, y'all. Let's do this. All right. Now I know people store their antiques and stuff and good stuff up in the attic. So UD is up in the attic. Let's do this. All right. Now we have a Barbie board game here. Here we have Clue, detective game, and we have Wheel of Fortune right here. I'm um, just a fan, car seat, um, paperwork right here. Like probably bills and stuff. Um, looks like a box spring and mattress and stuff. Right there. Um, 
Uh, seems to be a chest right there. Wooden chest. And a red book. The red book. Not the red book. What is what is the red book, guys? The red book. Got a little daddy long leg. Ask the red book, the Packer red book, spring of 1960. I don't want to keep seeing the red book, but what is the red book? Oh, this has something to do with um, farms. Um, I'm trying to read this. I'm trying to read this, guys, but... Um, and I do apologize for saying guys too much. Uh, I really have to get away from saying that. But, you know, it's just... Uh, it's just a a habit. Sorry, but the red book, huh? Uh, yeah, bro. I found it. Uh, I found it in the attic. I just actually I just ran out of uh, battery life, and I had to go back downstairs and um, get another battery because I'm filming in 4K for you. But be careful, man. Yeah, be careful, buddy. But yeah, I found the red book. Did you see all this stuff? Oh, I didn't come all the way up this way. See, that's why you brought an EUD. You know yeah, what I mean? No, no. <laughs> um, right, right there, bro. Right there. Down a bowling lady. Uh, so like uh, knobs for safes, right here. Did you read any of it? Like, it looks like it, it's for like. Um, farms, I think. Yeah. It must be like for produce or, um, like, you know, how there's a, a yellow pages for businesses. Maybe they Yeah, that's there. what it seemed like. But, uh, you know, another stuffed animal here. Is it a fly trap? I don't know what that is. Did they hit this? Is it a fly trap? I think so. Is that, that uh, sticky paper? Oh, uh, yeah, it's something. <laughs> this looks like an end table or something, too. Yeah, it's just a lot of, you know, children's toys and items and stuff left. Country woman. Country woman, family picks a colorful country life. She has a bunch of strawberries in her hand. Drink a lot of a lot of times. Just in case I'm... Yeah, see something like something like this might you know, some people might overlook this, you know what I mean? Uh, but uh, you know definitely might be an antique. For sure. Never know. Well yeah, a lot of this looks like it's the uh probably from the original 
farmhouse. That's why it's all the way up here. That's weird. <laughs>